Hey everyone, Ichin Kate Seth here, and today I want to discuss a little bit of uh, niche geo knowledge, I would want to call it. Um, well, some really cool things geo can do that I don't necessarily think is is known by a lot of the newer and returning players, a lot of the a lot of the newer geos out there. Uh, if you're a veteran player and you've been playing for a long time, you might know about this, but I feel like it's not really it's not really easily accessible anywhere. I mean, um, you don't really see this being used too often anymore but is still extremely useful and extremely helpful to know how to do this. But essentially what I want to talk about today is um, the command um, round target. Um, round target is the ability for you to cast the self-cast geo spells um, around your character anywhere you want, right? It's so like Geo Fury, Geo Dex. Usually for me, it's Geo Fury. So when you when you either cast when you go through menu and you and you t and you hit on the spell it'll be a reticle that appears over your character's head right and then also if you make a macro like this using st it will also make the reticle appear over your head if so you don't have to go through menu so if you do it like this and then you hold down control and then you use your arrow keys you can move and place it exactly where you want to without having to actually move your character to that location, like so. And then, on top of that, there is a command called GTST. Let's type that, GTST. And this is where you put a number between 1 and 100 in to adjust the reticle speed of the, your Lulapon. Now this comes at the full from, if you're just doing this for the first time, this comes at a very low value. I, I think it's like 10 to 20. It's very, very slow and very annoying to, to do. It takes a while. And then this is one to give you an idea of the speed. <laughs> it's like a snail, right? It's, it's extremely slow, extremely tedious, extremely annoying to get that thing out there. You can place it very precisely but it, it'll take you forever, right? And then inversely, if you set it to 100, it's way too quick. It's just it's just jumping everywhere. It's very hard to place it precisely, but it's very quick. At least it gets out there quick, right? I found that the best number to use is, you know, right in the middle. 50 seems to be the perfect speed and still have the ability to place it precisely, right? Now I use this stuff like in um, um, in Lilith. I like to precast my Blaze of Glory Fury at the beginning of a fight in the VD Lilith fight, um, so um, it, it gets ticking up while I buff, and then it's it's there and waiting waiting at uh, full full health. And you can cast it right on top of Lilith without even aggroing her. It won't aggro any mob. And I've also been doing this on Shinryu. Because Frailty is nerfed on those, um, why not just cast the Fury right at them? So, you know, as you engage, there's one less thing for the Geo to do, and you're just ready to fight right away, because your bubble's already up. And then the other thing you can do, which is very, very useful, is you can position your frailty and your and your monster debuff Luapons at max range. So this is this is something that was what I remember being used on Maju. This is a great strat for Maju, but I believe people used to like run to a certain distance and then try to cast it on themselves. Or that would be a great way. So like, 
pretend that's Maju and you know 10 plus is safe. So what you could do is you could stand behind where you want your Luapon to be, go to your frailty, and then using the ST, the, the ground target, move it back to where you're standing and cast it here behind me. So I know the exact distance it would be at if you have that ability, right? And that's going to do it for the video, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this information is useful uh, to all you Geos out there. I know it has been for me. Um, I hope to continue this series of videos where, you know, we just find some, you know, really cool, nice, niche, useful information and just post about it. And hopefully um, uh, some players uh, find it useful and, and start using it themselves. That's the best we can hope for. Um, don't forget, I stream every day on Twitch also, so if you like my content here on YouTube, uh, I'm sure you'll love the content also over at Twitch. 